Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Leaf Stitches and Slabs Basketball. We did, uh, we've done baseball breaks before. We have not done the Stitches and Slabs Basketball. And it's a dual case break. We're doing six boxes. Everyone gets a random NBA team. Our standard no checklist rules apply. That probably is going to only apply to potential college jerseys. I think they're all going to be pro jerseys, but if a college jersey gets pulled, there, there's no checklist for the jersey part of it. Obviously, the cards have checklists, but um, the jerseys don't have checklists. So if it's a college jersey for a player that's active, it'll go to the team that he's currently on. If it's not, if the players retire, they're not active, they'll go to the team they played for the longest, according to basketballreference.com. And we'll use, uh, we'll use tiebreakers if we need to, but I don't think we're going to need to cross that bridge. All right. Big thanks, everyone, here. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up, and we only ended up doing one filler. So thanks to the people who uh, took the risk on the filler and won a spot on the filler. All 30 teams are in. Let's go. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams one and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. We got Chad down to Sean. One and a four, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and and five. Remember, trades are allowed, but you know, as always, with products like this, buyback products like this, Portland down to Detroit, trade at your own risk. And if there's uh, any multiplayer cards, then yeah, we'll we'll have to randomize those as well between the teams that are represented on the card, as we always do. All right, Chad. Trailblazers, Hans with the T-Wolves, Chad with the Warriors, Josh with the Grizzlies, Chad with the Celtics, Hans with the Wizards, Joe Pizzle with the Sixers, Steve H with the Knicks, Joe with the Magic, Steve with the Heat, Jay with the Suns, Steve with the Pacers, Ivan with the Nets, Joe with the Bucks, Chad with the Raptors, Steve with the Pelicans, Chad with the Thunder, Joe with the Mavs, Larry with the Rockets, Stephen K with the Hawks, Nicholas with the Bulls, Chad with the Cavs, Steve H with the Jazz, Chad with the Nuggets, Hans with the Lakers, Last Spot Mojo, Colin with the Spurs, Chad with the Hornets, Matthew with the Clippers, and Sean Maddock with the Kings and Pistons. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And we are going to pause the video just for a moment, and we're going to see if there's any trades when we come back, and then we'll do this dual case break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so the list, re the list remains the same. We need a, uh, actually, now yeah, we do need the title of this break on here. Sorry, paper. Sorry, trees. All right, so we got both dual cases right here, three in each box. So just to make it easy on me, we're going to just keep them right here. You can see everything on my face camera right over here. So that list remains the same. Big thanks to everybody here for making it happen. I appreciate it. You can notice I turned the top camera off because we are going to play some quick rounds of Who Am I? And I don't want to reveal the jersey too early, so get your thinking caps on. Don't use Google. It's for the spirit of the game. We ask you not to use it. It's for bragging rights. I guess it doesn't matter, but if you could sleep at night doing that, taking advantage of America's favorite game, who am I? All right, so here's the front of it right here. If you're not familiar with this, I know we don't end up doing a lot of these kind of leaf products. Check that out. Pretty cool. All the jerseys are custom, so they're not, they won't have the, I should have the official colors, but not the official licensing. All right, let's do the slab first. Ooh, nice. I like that, put, I like that they put them in the box. Maybe it was a supply chain issue thing, but Stitches and Slabs Baseball, they had them in like little bubble mailers. But I like this much better. All right, first one out of the gate. We got a Beckett grade, just a, oh, nine, five, 10. So there must be an autograph here. Good luck, everybody. It's gonna be for the Thunder, Russell Westbrook. From 2010, 2011, NT, Century Showcases, 
Centering edges surface all a 9, 5. Corners are a 9. And the autograph is a 10, and it's 10 out of 49. Westbrook, in his new sort of off-the-bench role, has been uh, playing pretty well, believe it or not. Chad Cromwell won the spot in the filler, has the thunder. What's, that's not Westbrook's rookie year, right? What's Westbrook's rookie year? He's been in the league for a minute or two. He was drafted back in 2008. That's right. So a couple years before his rookie year for that card. All right. Now the jersey. All right. Who am I? I'm a retired basketball player, 70 years old. Listed 6'11", 210, probably in his playing days. Um, what, what position do you play? At 6'10", must be some sort of 40 kind of player. But uh, was a number one overall pick in the mid-70s. Southern California guy. Went to UCLA as well. Played for three teams his entire career. Two-time NBA champion, an NBA Finals MVP. A most valuable player one time. Two-time NBA All-Star, a sixth man of the year. He was a rebounding leader, a blocks leader one year. This number retired by, uh, the, by the Trailblazers. Yeah, there we go, John. Bill Walton. Nice, there it is, Bill Walton. Portland, that's going to be for Chad. So these are just custom jerseys, so you're not going to see any of the... You'll see the familiar team colors. Right? See the familiar team colors there, though. So that goes to Chad with a spot he bought straight up. So today is the 14th. This is a random team break number one. All right. Gilo does. That's part of Bill Walton's charm, talking too much. Isn't it? No? Um, his, uh, his son, Luke Walton has been to the shop a few times here at Jaspi. I think mostly buying a, a Pokemon for his, for his kids. So he's been, he's been real nice. So we get his dad's jersey there. Yeah, it's name drop, name dropping. All right. The card is, it's going to be Scotty Barnes. Rookie auto, Scotty Barnes. That is from a Panini photogenic basketball box. That will be for Toronto, Chad Cromwell. With some Dino DNA. All right. This one's going to be easy. Um, active basketball player standing at 7 feet, 243 pounds. Wow. 15th overall pick, played for one team my entire career, an NBA champion, an NBA Finals MVP, a two-time NBA Most Valuable Player Award winner, six-time All-Star, four-time All-NBA First Team, an NBA Defensive Player of the Year, a Most Improved Player of the Year. Already on the 75th anniversary team. Uh, pretty darn good. Yeah, Ben, Joe Pizzle, you got it. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And that is for Joe Pizzle. Nice. Joe, there's the JSA card here. There's the JSA sticker up there. 
There's his autograph right over there. Joe Pizzle, Milwaukee Bucks. He won that spot in the filler, parlayed that into this Giannis jersey. Congrats, man. I'm going to leave it in the, in the bag just because it's a custom jersey, but it's got the, uh, the Bucks trim in there and everything. Nice. There you go. Hey, thank you for getting in. Joe Pizzle, I appreciate you getting in. All right, third and final box of this case. And we got one more case coming up after this. I was, uh, I was looking in the back. I don't think I saw any more of these stitches and slabs cases, but I don't know. This seems to be pretty nice. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some more. Looks like Leaf really loaded these up. I like this combination. I, it's sometimes just jerseys. All right, sometimes just slabs. Okay, they're fun, but to see both at the same time, I think is uh, is pretty fun. All right, let's see. What we got here. We got a graded card. PSA 10, and it's for New Orleans. Anthony Davis. It's his rookie year right there. That's awesome. That goes to Steve Herrick. Nolens. Nice. All right. Ooh, this is nice. All right, who am I? That goes to New Orleans. All right, who am I? Let me, I wanted to pull up some stats here. All right, I'm only in my second year in the NBA. A shooting guard from Merced, California, 6'4", 186. Second overall pick. All, all NBA rookie team, all rookie first team. I've won some gold medals for the uh, FIBA under 19s, under 17s, and under 16s. So gold medalist. And last year had averaged about 17 points a game with a few rebounds and a few assists. How am I doing this year? I'm averaging 20, almost 22 points a game, four rebounds and a few assists. 37.5% from, from three. It's improving. Who am I? Yep, Jalen Green. Ben's got it. That's a nice hit for Larry and the Rockets. Got the JSA card, the JSA sticker. His autograph right there. Nice. One of the uh, one of the many, I guess, rising stars in uh in the NBA. Ben saying he'll lead the league in a uh, in scoring something. Gilo likes uh, Gilo likes Larry and the Rocket. Sounds like a sounds like a a band name. That might be because there was a band. Was there a band called Love and Rockets? Maybe the L name and Rockets. Maybe maybe got you there.
All right, three more. Dual case break, second one. We got, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo, an autograph this time, an authentic autograph from, uh, on a pinnacle card, on a pinnacle rookie card. Joe Pizzle with the Milwaukee Bucks. Another Giannis. All right, Jersey, who are you? Hmm. Retired player. Retired players. Are you still? He's still with us. Seventy years old. I think his playing days six seven hundred and eighty pounds. Um, played both in the ABA and the NBA. Played for a lot of teams, but the these this team colors are going to be pretty obvious. It's who he played for between nineteen seventy four and eighty five. He was a nine time All Star. Uh, Five-time All-NBA first-teamer, a four-time NBA scoring champion, uh, Hall of Famer, ended up with twenty and ended up averaging twenty-five point one points per game, five point three rebounds per game, and two point six assists per game. And people of a certain age definitely had one of his one of these iconic posters in his in your room of, of him. Holding a ice basketballs made out of ice. I want to say was he on a was he on an ice throne as well? Holding ice basketballs. No, I think the basketballs are like painted silver. But he's on an ice like armchair. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool photo. Uh, yeah, Ben, you got it. The Iceman, George Gervin. What gave that away? You got that pretty quick. Nice. There he is, the Iceman, George Gervin. I think some of the old basketball heads will tell you that, um, in case you're wondering what this guy played like, a lot of, uh, I want to say a lot of KD comparisons is what, is what I hear. That'll be for Colin and the Spurs. Got the JSA. A ABA, big time score. Just, no, this is good. Very good guess. But yeah, you hear a lot of... I mean, I think size-wise, they're, they're, they're both kind of, kind of tall and lanky. And they're just... They can kind of just score from anywhere. So, Colin Pelletier, random team number one. All right, next one. Some real solid stuff in here. It is Oscar Robertson, Prism Autograph for the Milwaukee Bucks, Joe Pizzle. Ah, that, that, that filler spot that you won coming in real handy here. All right, the jersey. Huh. Hmm. An active player. All right. 6'4", 225 shooting guard, a righty, born in Georgia, went to college at Georgia, and was, uh, was the first overall pick 
Rookie year, averaged 19.3 points. Sophomore year, 21.3 points. And already 20.9 20, 20 points a game. And he's uh, this season all, all also averaging five or six five five point six rebounds a game, almost four assists a game, thirty four percent from three, and the ability uh, to to provide you with just amazing dunking ability. That's right, Ben and Oliver got it. Anthony Edwards. This is nice. You got a little Beckett sticker there as well. There must be a Beckett card in here somewhere as well, but it's a custom jersey. Um, Anthony Edwards, talk to me, Goose. That goes to Hans and the T-Wolves. Yeah, he kind of hit you with a better autograph there too than, some, than what you see sometimes on, on cards. I feel like he's signing fewer of those numbers, so I put a little more attention to it. I mean, how many jerseys is he signing compared to like some how many cards he has to sign sometimes? Although not, now he's past his rookie year, I don't think he'll have to sign as much. So maybe maybe there'll be an uptick on, on better penmanship and like higher end product. All right, third and final box of this case, sixth and final box of the break. Big thanks to everybody who got in, and then we'll, uh, this is a World Cup break, right? Yeah, we'll randomize everybody's names and see who gets a, uh, gets a World Cup spot. Another graded card. PSA 7 from 1988 Fleer Basketball, his airness. Air Jordan from an 88 Fleer All-Star card. Chicago Bulls, Nicholas, Nicholas S. with Da Bulls. Da Bulls, Da Bulls, Da Bulls, Da Bulls, Da Bulls. All right, and the final one here. All right, I see you, I see you. How is this player doing this year? Let's take a look. He is currently averaging 19.6 uh, games, points per game, over 10 games, six rebounds, two and a half assists, 37.5% from the field. He's played for... Uh, What's it? This is his fourth year in the league right now. He's a 6'5", 195 shooting guard. Are these really his nicknames? Boy Wonder? Bucket? Baby Goat? Was a former 13th overall pick. Who am I? From Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Went to college in Kentucky. Pretty integral part of this team. Do his rebounds have been creeping up a little bit over the years? A little more assists over the all the assists are down this year, but it's only ten games into the season. But I think through his third year, his assists have gone up a little bit each year. There you go. Hans has got it. Tyler Hero, Miami Heat, Steve Herrick. And when a hero comes along. Find the strength to carry on. There's the JSA card, Tyler Hero. Uh, is it this this way? This way? 
I don't know which way Tyler Hero's autograph goes. Uh, it's that way. It's this way. I mean, according to or according to Wikipedia, though those were those were his 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 nicknames that were listed. Just bucket. Nice one for Steve. All right. That's it. Great. Now, let's flip back to the list right over there. Let's gather everybody's names. New dice, new list, and a chance to win a World Cup spot. Name on top after two and a three five times. Fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time after five. A lot of sad faces here. Two through 30. Thank you. I appreciate you trying. Oof, I've been very close. Just not quite there. We'll get him next time. Thanks, everyone, for giving this a shot. Fun break, though. Name on top. You're in our World Cup promo. It's Chad. There you go, Chad. After five, three, two and a three, five times, five times, your name's on top. We'll see you in that World Cup promo. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.